giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from the Cedar Rapids Police Department, we've got Greg Bulo. Greg, welcome. Hi, Carol. Great to be here today. So we're going to talk about crime statistics the first half of 2019. Let's talk a little bit about crime and, and what the trend is in Cedar Rapids, particularly in violent crimes. Right. Well, I always tell people that if you've had a crime committed against you, Naturally, it's, the inclination is that crime is really out of control in any community. What the police department does is they measure the rate of crime to give a good indicator of what the trends are, what prevention efforts need to go out there, and also what kind of targeted hot spot law enforcement activity is needed to try to deter and hold uh, criminals accountable for their actions. And so, Luckily, we've seen over the last uh, six to seven years since 2013, a decrease in violent crime by about 6%. And when we look at our first half statistics for 2019, crime of the violent type, which is murder or assaults or rapes, those types of crimes, they're down 1.74% compared to the five-year average. So we're trending in the right direction, but again, there's several things the police department and the community need to do to make sure that continues. Let's talk a little bit about um, aggravated assaults and what the numbers are showing currently. Yeah, it, the, uh, the actual violent crime numbers would be down even more if it wasn't for the aggravated assaults. And in particular, analysis by um, our, our crime unit found that it's the domestic abuse cases that are driving those numbers up. And I wanna explain that just real briefly. Uh, if you look at the first half, there were 2,845 domestic abuse calls. This is 22% higher than the, Nash, the, the last five-year average. So it looks like a big increase. And what is happening is there are more domestic abuse calls, but also law enforcement has now started a LAP program, L-A-P, Lethality Assessment Program. And what it is, it's 11 question uh, program that officers go out when they go to any domestic abuse, they work with them and find out what is the history of this domestic abuse, how much danger is the victim potentially in, is there a safety plan or a social service agency that can be referred to to make sure that they get help, because a lot of times domestic abuse victims feel trapped. Mm -hmm. Also, this lethality assessment program says that if somebody's injured, it's mandatory that they're arrested. The, the perpetrator is arrested. And so actually that's a good thing because we're making sure that domestic abuse victims get the necessary help. Uh, unfortunately, in the past, you know, maybe sometimes things didn't happen and the abuse continued. This really starts to put more emphasis on the, the fact that that victim needs help, whether through a social service agency or if they've got a black eye or other, evident, uh, other injury that's evident, it's mandatory the person did that's going to get arrested and held accountable. So that's driving some of the numbers up. Can we talk a little bit about property crimes? Yeah, property crime overall are down about 3.52% in the first half, which is good. Uh, theft from vehicles is also down 10%, which is another good thing because that's where people get like wallets or billfolds, purses, uh, electronics, phones, things like that stolen from the inside of their vehicles. And we always encourage people to make sure you lock your vehicles at all times. We've done a number of crime prevention steps, including um, some social media outreach to make sure we call it a 9 p.m. routine that every night at 9 p.m. you make sure your doors are locked and your car is secured. Uh, that's a good news as far as thefts from vehicle. Theft of autos, though, are up quite a bit, and we need to do a better job of messaging that. 44% of the vehicles that are stolen have the keys left in the ignition or they're left running. So wow. we're not blaming victims, but don't make it too easy for somebody to steal your car. And at areas that we can improve. Yeah, well, I tell you what, there's always areas we can improve, making sure you always lock your doors, making sure you're vigilant and calling when you see suspicious behavior. And I encourage people to go to our website, cedar-rapids.org forward slash police. You can look up crime data right in your neighborhood. Always a pleasure, Greg. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.